We had a call for a, uh, a lightning rod for uh, somebody's generator. The family-owned hardware store has begun the process of helping its customers, many of whom live in older homes on tree-lined streets, get ready to face the possibility of an extended period of time without electricity. Yeah, well, there's a little tiny one that somebody gave me that, that you can use it in the middle of the night. A tiny, tiny flashlight, very cute. Many came bearing the lessons of last summer when thousands of Falls Church residents spent an extended period without power following the derecho storm. Just six days. Yeah. And what are you doing here today? Sponges from my basement. There is potential that this could be um, a storm that has significant impact in our service area. Leha Anderson is with Dominion Virginia Power, where crews are already standing by. Uh, there's something called mutual aid, and, and all the utilities work together. Sometimes it does involve bringing in crews from um, states beyond you know, our neighboring states, but we are here for each other. We also have contractors, and again, we have excellent crews, so I, I think we are well prepared. Coming up on News 4 at 6, we'll talk to Pepco. Reporting live in Kensington, Jackie Benson, News 4.